Lip trimmers. Hello dear. And ear. Ear. And ear. Ear. And of course, ear. 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 I'm really happy to see you again. I hope that you are all having a wonderful day or evening. Welcome to another story. I have some coffee here because it's too early for a glass of wine, but if you want, you can pour yourself some wine and keep me company for another mystery story and this time this story somehow has let's say a different ending it's a mystery story more than a true crime and it's about a woman who disappeared without any trace and the case was solved after 42 years Let's have some coffee Then sit back Sit back Back back, make yourself comfortable, pour yourself some wine, some wine, or some coffee, or some tea, whatever you might like, and let's listen to this mystery story, and I hate to say this, but Please don't forget to drop a like, to comment. I love reading your comments and to consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. Thank you very much. Let's get started. Well, this is really good. So this is almond paste iced coffee almond bean paste iced coffee so I'm going to take you back in New York in 1975 it was it was a normal day in New York, just like any other day, the normal routine, a man dropped his wife off at her doctor appointment. And he promised that he would come, of course, to pick her up. He had been waiting for his wife patiently for an hour, for two hours, for three hours, for a few hours. And then he started to worry. So, he went inside the doctor's office and asked the receptionist about his wife. But the receptionist told him that his wife was not there. Very confused, the man, of course, started 
wanted to look around for his wife. His wife had asked him to come to get her, but she never showed up. So he was so confused and extremely worried. The woman name was Florence and everybody knew her as Flora. Her full name was Florence Flora Stevens. So the man, of course, extremely worried, as I have told you, wondered where she was. What happened to her? So he eventually went to the police and the investigation started. But it had been a 42 years old investigation with a lot of twists. So, stay tuned to see what is going to happen. Investigation came to a shocking and of course everybody wondered what might have happened to poor Flora. Was she kidnapped? Was it a tragic death? So they did not have any, any evidence, but at a certain point the detective discovered human remains and the case was reopened, but after 40 years of pictures the detectives to follow another lead and finally solve the case. This case started as a missing person. A ordinary man on an ordinary day in 1975. In fact, it was on August 3rd. A man took his wife to the doctor's office because she had an appointment. There was not anything strange going on, but she seemed to have just a little bit of flu, or possibly he might have caught cold. But she really wanted to be sure and she really wanted to go and be seen by her doctor. So he took her to the doctor's office, dropped her there and promised he would come and pick her up. And he came but she was nowhere to be found. He had been married to Flora, Flora Stephens um, at the time of her disappearance and she was just 36 years old. No one described as a loving person, full of energy, a person who loved life. So, she just vanished into the thin air. The last time her husband
husband saw her was when he dropped her there next to the doctor's office there was not too much information about this and Laura seemed to be an ordinary woman also who worked that summer at a resort in the Catskill Mountains. It was a very big complex with over 1,000 rooms. A very popular resort among tourists who used to visit the area. So the investigation went to talk to her colleagues. They read her job application and they also discovered that Flora was a student at a high school in New York. But that was it. They couldn't find anything else about Florence. Just this little info. Everyone knew that she was married to a man named Robert Stevens and this is when the case went when the case went out because they were weren't able to find anything else and about nobody could discover where Flora might have gone. That appointment. Of course, right after her disappearance, a lot of people tried to help her and spend their time trying to help her husband find her. Everyone who knew her, everyone around was confused about this strange disappearance into the thin air. As I have told you, Flora was just kind, was that kind of cute and sweet, kind, lovely person that used to help everyone. And people wanted to give something in return and wanted to help out, wanted to find her. But strangely, she vanished. There weren't any clues. She had no close friends, no relatives. Not able to find any place she could possibly go or any person, so she didn't have any friends, very close friends. She didn't have any family or relatives in the area. They couldn't find or guess where she might have possibly gone couldn't link her to anyone. He couldn't even find where she was born, which I find really strange. Didn't her husband know where she was born? So, so the case went cold. But after years. Seventh, the New York State Police Investigator 
discover something that even if could answer these questions involving the whole case that he had no idea about. So the detective discovered some skeletal remains and he needed help identify who the remains belonged to, who that person was. And they all wondered if that person was Flora. Detective, the detective, the investigator started to make different phone calls. And um, um, he called um, the sheriff office in Sullivan County. And it was explained to him that the woman's remains were found uh, next to the cat scales. Remember where Flora used to walk? And that they really need help to identify who this person was. But it was extremely difficult because, sadly, unfortunately, around 70,000 female adults go missing each year. So it was almost impossible to find out who that person was. women who went missing along the years and they had to dig into a lot of cases and the cold case records were kept in storage she started to wonder if it was Flora and the New York investigator decided to go to Sullivan County to do some research. He thought it would help find the answer, but although he was a very experienced um, investigator, in spite of focusing on his look for answers. Um, he could not be sure. Anyways, the case was reopened. And the New York investigator started through the New York investigator, detective, was full of hopes and just tried to find some uh, living relatives to talk to. But unfortunately, he could not find any. And the file couldn't help him too much also of course it was an old case opened in 1975 but there was no information about Flora he could not find anything a connecting link a clue 
was anything, anything in there. So, a detective transferred the case over to Sullivan County detectives and the requirement was to find out some link, some connection between the two women, the remains of course, and, uh, uh, and Flora, the woman who um, had gone missing so many years ago. Apparently, they could find her work ID, which proved that she indeed worked in the Catskill Mountain. That ID, the ID, was found in the exact same area. where the remains were found and they told to themselves that it was too much it was too obvious to be just a coincidence so when Flora went missing her husband of course, tried to find her and bring her home. Uh, he could find out, as we already know, that he left her in front of the doctor's office for her doctor's appointment. That he returned to pick her up. was nowhere to be found so he went directly to the police and a missing person a person's case was found the disappearance of Flora Stevens became an open investigation from that very moment but can that was it the detective could not find any other piece of information. Sadly, ten years after Flora vanished, her husband passed away. So it was another closed door. Her husband wasn't alive anymore, there were no family members, no relatives, so no info about Flora. This was indeed a tough case, very difficult. Mm. Absolutely no idea how he was going to prove that Flora and the remains were the same person. So they started going through national and local databases and discover something really strange. They found out that there was a person, someone who was still using or was using Flora Stevens' social security number. Haven't they tried to do so? Not in the first, uh, in, uh, it was in 
impossible to do this in 1975, but I guess it was because the, the case was considered a cold case and was reopened um, in 2017. So they found out, as I was telling you, that somebody uh, was using Flora's social security number and they decided to follow that link because it was all they had at that point and it led them to Boston to Boston facility, in an assistant living facility, another woman called also Flora, but it was not Flora Stevens, her name was Flora Harris. So the detective decided to call up immediately at that facility, because as I have told you it was his only lead and he, it was confirmed to him that a last name was not Stevens was Harris and apparently she had been in the facility since 2001 mm -hmm. of course the detective went over to that facility mm -hmm. with another investigator and the first thing that came into their mind was was that a case of identity fraud same first Christian name, different family name but same birth date and social security that was extremely strange they thought about identity fraud, identity theft they didn't know what to think about this so they brought with them the only available picture of Flora from the database it was a picture on her working ID from her job the detectives introduced themselves to Flora but nothing could ever prepare them for the shock they were about to have so they showed the woman the picture and she I recognized it. She told them it's me. That is me. She only kept on saying one word me, me, me. And they also showed her a picture of her husband. And she recognized her husband then said Robert and at that point the investigators were sure that they found the woman who had vanished so many years ago but the sad part of this story still is the fact that she couldn't give any extra info she couldn't tell much about herself because she suffered from dementia and she wasn't really able to recall the events Her caregiver had a little bit 
Investigations, investigators that Flora used to be had been in a terrible marriage and that her husband was an abusive one and that she wanted to run away. Investigators left. Flora at her facility, smiling, and happy that they found her. Still, a question still remains. Whose remains? See you next time.